And now the moment we've been waiting for is here. Hello everyone and welcome back to an all new Retro Reviews, the only place where we pop more than our Funko collections. It's hotter than a day at the beach, which means we're going to heat things up right here at Cinefellas and talk about all things Retro Reviews. Today's Retro Reviews is the 1929 surrealist film, Unchian and Delu. That's right, we're going way back, way back, even before we had the red and black lumberjack hat to match, that kind of way back. I think that's how that goes. Unchien Andalou is a 1929 short surrealist film from France. It comes from uh, Spanish director Louis Bunel. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And it's also written by Salvador Dali, who was a painter at the time. This film actually doesn't have a plot or a plot in the you know usual sense of the word. The film is really disjointed, jumping from you know, once upon a time to eight years later without any events or characters really changing all that much. In 1929, all those many, many years ago, it still gives us something to talk about. And I believe it's a very good art form that, you know, still gives audience something to look forward to and to still kind of digest and take in to really understand what this film might be. If you're someone who studies film or has studied film, then this is definitely somewhere, or should be somewhere, on your radar. Like I said earlier, even though the film came out in 1929, it hasn't aged a day. The film really does have some really weird and creepy imagery and really haunting visuals. Uh, I believe the film is 17 minutes or 20 minutes, and it's based on a series of dreams that Salvador and Bunel, the co-writers and director, uh, had. Some of the strange scenes include a razor blade, you know, really like slicing through somebody's eyeball and hundreds of ants pouring out of the palms of someone's hand. Like really creepy imagery that just, I don't even really know how to explain it. It really is a weird series of dreams that these people had. And I do believe there's some deep meaning behind these images. This film, or this short film I should say, is still really powerful to this day. Is because I believe there are so many themes Themes of love and sex and death, just to name a few. The surrealist films or the artsy fartsy type of films, then I can't really recommend this for you. I, uh, it's weird because the film kind of plays tricks on your minds and you don't really have a clear judgment of what the film is, even though I've seen it easily a few times, my God, at least like five times already. I'm still trying to figure out all the themes and metaphors and I really do think that this was made for a reason. It's not just a series of weird shots with, without an explanation. Even though the directors and writers have said themselves the film doesn't mean anything or doesn't really symbolize anything, I think it actually kind of does because every artist has some kind of voice or expression they are trying to get across to the people. An example of symbolism in this would be the sexual repression that one of the male characters has. There is a scene in the film where a man holds a woman's bare breast and his face slowly changes into like this really weird creepy death mask, almost like a skull. The scene begins just as, uh, the scene actually begins just as another man becomes aroused after watching someone die from a car accident. So maybe the film is bringing up the question of violence, you know, being a turn on and the role of dominance and gender in our society and sex and identity. I only bring up identity because another man in this movie has his mouth replaced with a woman's armpit hair. Like I said earlier, this movie really does have some weird imagery. Unchian Andalou has had an inspiration on many other films as well. Some examples include the butterfly appearing over a woman's mouth in the short f uh, film. This looks very similar to the poster for Silence of the Lambs. The most memorable scene in this short film is the cutting of the woman's eyeball with the razor blade. The filmmakers actually used the eyeball from a cow in order to do this. 
Salvador, who is actually a famous painter of the 1920s, works well with his co-writer and director. Some of the shots in the movie do look like paintings come to reality, and I think his paintings definitely had an inspiration on this short film. These artists from Paris are a huge part of film history and a big movement in the surrealism film world. I always have been had so much fun just looking at this and trying to dissect it and truly analyze it. You don't see short films like this. Not now, not ever. It's really trippy, creepy, and it's one of my personal favorite art forms I've ever seen. So this easily gets five out of five hair pieces from me. Well, just like sand in an hourglass, the time has come to an end. That's all for right now for when it comes to retro reviews. Take a look at the next retro review right here. much for checking this out. We really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you later. And remember, never invite a vampire into your house, you silly boy. Good bye.